Advocate Prashant Bhushan have filed a statement before the Supreme Court reiterating that he will not be apologizing for his tweets criticizing the judiciary, over which he was held guilty of criminal contempt of court on August 14. Advocate Prashant Bhushan has refused to apologize for his tweets. He filed a supplementary affidavit before the Supreme Court, refusing to tender an apology with respect to the statements made by him over Twitter in connection to the functioning of the Supreme Court as well as the CJI. Bhushan said that the remarks made by him were a constructive criticism of the court and therefore retracting the same would amount to tendering an insincere apology. He stressed that as an officer of the court, he had a duty to speak up when he believes that the judicial institution is deviating from its sterling record. A supplementary statement filed today through advocate Kamini Jaiswal states, My tweets represented this bona fide belief that I continue to hold. Public expression of those beliefs was, I believe, in the line with my higher obligations as a citizen and a loyal officer of this court. Therefore, an apology for expression of these beliefs, conditional or unconditional, would be insincere. An apology cannot be a mere incantation. An apology has to, and as the court has itself put it, be sincerely made. This especially so when I have made the statements bona fide and pleaded truths with full details which have not been dealt with by the court. If I retract a statement before this court that I otherwise believe to be true or offer an insincere apology that in my eyes would amount to the contempt of my conscience and of an institution that I hold in highest esteem. On August 14, a three-judge bench of the Supreme Court held Bhushan guilty of contempt of courts for his tweets against SC and the Chief Justice of India. During the hearing on the sentence held on August 20, Bhushan affirmed his comments and made a statement justifying his comments and expressed dismay at the court verdict. The bench was not appreciative of the statement and asked Bhushan if he would like to reconsider it. The bench also asked Attorney General about granting time to Bhushan to reconsider the statement. Venugopal agreed that that time can be given to him. Nevertheless, the bench said that it will give him two or three days for him to reconsider the statement and post the matter for hearing on August 25. Speaking at a public function, Bhushan stressed on the need to speak truth to power and said that one should be prepared even to go to jail for that. However, Bhushan stood by the statement and said that it was well considered and well thought of. He said that granting time will not serve any purpose as it was unlikely that he will change it. Bureau report.